Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of this tutorial series. Today we will start creating our custom uh, uh, call to action block. So let's get started. So let's go to our code editor and let's open our uh, inside the block. Let's create our file for the call to action. So let's do like call to action dot js like this. All right. So here let's uh, call a method and the method name is uh, register block type register block type okay so this is the method we need to use but uh, at first we need to import it so i'm going to use import statement so that browser will understand and it it, it can it ha it will have the ability to fetch the function names from those uh, libraries so we are going to use the register block type register block type and we are going to use it from the uh, wordpress blocks from uh, wordpress blocks all right but uh, this is actually not available because we do not have installed it so let's uh, install it like npm install uh, at wordpress slash scripts and uh, these are actually our dependencies so you can say that it is save like this so this will install the wordpress scripts actually i made a mistake i we do not need to install wordpress scripts but we need to in, uh, install the uh, rather scripts we need to install the wordpress blocks now the scripts so let's hit enter now So, as you can see, our uh, uh, WordPress block uh, has been added. So, now we can use the register block type. So, the register block type here, at first we need to uh, assign the uh, uh, namespace here that we have actually defined into the learn Gutenberg block. So, let's go there and find it out. Let's close this down. So, uh, this is the namespace that we have defined for our call to action block. So let's use this here So we can say like call to action and then uh, we need to pass a an object here and This object is gonna accept some parameters as well. So the first one is the title so let's say call to action here and the next one is the icon and for the icon uh, let's uh, say like admin shield okay and next one is the category in where we want to keep it so we will say into the common category we want to store it and next uh, we want to pass some keywords so it will be an array so let's say cta or call to action here and say action here and, uh, and the next one is the attributes and the attributes what attributes does for the react it will act as an state so these are the state values and uh, that we can define here so and uh, and what wordpress does wordpress does trigger a set um, uh, set attributes method by which we can uh, modify these state values as well so we will add our values accordingly here so the next thing is the edit method which is responsible for the uh, 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 for displaying the dom structure into the editor so let's say edit function
so what we can say edit and it's we can pass the es6 like syntax here and ins inside this we need to pass two attribute uh, two parameters one is attributes and another is the set attributes by which we will be able to modify those attributes values which will be added here in the future part okay so the next function is the save method so let's comment that out save function okay so this is responsible for showing the dom structure into the front end or into the very front end with the theme so let's say save and it will also be like accepting uh, uh, just accepting the attributes because we do not uh, need to set anything from here all right so this is basically the simple structure of our uh, now what we can say of our gutenberg block so let's uh, return something from the edit method so let's do like return let's say hello gutenberg all right not the hell gutenberg but the hello gutenberg okay so uh, let's go back into the back end now for the first time and let's see how the progress is going on so uh, this is our plugin learn gutenberg block so let's activate it hopefully there will be no error okay looks looks good now let's go back to our gutenberg page and hit a refresh so that our cta should come appear okay hi it is loaded i think this is actually coming from our admin.js uh, index.js okay and one thing i found out that actually i need to uh, initialize the call to action this file into the index.js because this is the main entry js and we need to include this uh, call to action file into the index.js so how we can do that we can import it right away so we can do blocks slash call to action dot js like this and this should load our file all right so now let's go back and hit a refresh and before that let's inspect so if we if we, if we have any console error we should fix it and we have one so let's read it block names must contain oh okay i i got it i always do mistakes because uh, in javascript we always used to use the camel case things so i have used it here but uh, let's read it uh, loud and clear block names must contain a namespace prefix okay include only lowercase alphanumeric character or dashes so no uppercase things okay so it starts with a letter must so let's do uh, like this so learn gutenberg block all are the smaller letter and within that we are using the dash so let's copy this and paste it here as well all right so now let's refresh now okay fine so the error is gone admin i think this is coming from another plugin i guess all right so we are fine so let's uh, search for the call to action uh, i think this is the this is the one because we have added into the common box but uh, the icon is missing so i think we misspelled it somehow okay so let's fix that also okay so it should be like this so let's refresh now and search for it okay it is still not coming let's all right so i have add, uh, managed to add uh, icon here so the last icon was a wrong icon so i just add admin comments so 
it is now coming nicely so let's hit refresh though hit reload okay so and now if we search for call to action as you can see the call to action is here so if you click on it so as you can see our custom message is coming here hello gutenberg so if we can update it obviously it will not show into the front end because we do not added anything into the uh, save method yet but uh, uh, so far so good everything is working nicely and our custom message from the edit method is coming as well so into the next video what uh, we will do uh, we will add some uh, more uh, customizable field or editable field into the edit method uh, um, uh, and also in the save method so that we can view those uh, values into the front end as well. So see you in the next video.